Hello everyone. Uh, while preparing for your reading session with uh, an orchestra or symphonic band, it's very important to make things run as smoothly and efficiently as possible. So, and one way to make your life of your musicians and music director a lot better is to provide cues uh, for the entry points of instrument. So, um, what you want to look at is like measures with a lot of rest and especially when you have like changing time signatures 5 4 4 4 counting can get lost your musicians can get lost and if you want to uh, so you want to look for measures with a, a lot of rest uh, a lot of measures of rest and measures where musicians are playing long notes um uh, like for example the viola or the violin is playing long notes uh, I actually got a complaint from one of my violists that I didn't provide any cue and uh, she, he was just playing long notes so he got lost um, so what you're gonna do in this case for example uh, I have a flute, flute one here and I'm gonna paste a cue from the clarinet one so uh, it's really simple you're gonna select the uh, clarinet one notes and control C for copying and you're gonna see over here uh, okay wait so you're gonna copy it so it's just just paste and then um, uh, let me remove all this so this is this notes um, are gonna be the Q notes so what you're gonna do is gonna uh, come over here the second panel and over here you have this cue size on and off so uh, first let's label this as uh, clarinet one and then we're gonna select all this and I'm gonna turn this on so what you notice is that this has become smaller note heads it has become smaller note heads compared to um, the regular notes and you're gonna see this reflected in the parts too. So, so here you have clarinet one and smaller note heads and now your flute can come in at the right spot. I'd like to thank um, my violist uh, and composer Edward Ryan for pointing this out to me and I'd like to thank Professor Ian Krauss for teaching me how to do it. See you guys.